The Delaware Blue Hens are featured in today's installment of our 11 Teams in 11 Days series. I'm Bobby Broyles, joined by my colleague Tim McDonald. And Tim, while the Blue Hens returned most of their starters on both sides of the ball from a 5-6 and six team a year ago, they have a change at head coach with Dave Brock now in charge at Newark. Given these dynamics, it should be really interesting to see how UD fares here in 2013. I think it was a disappointing end for Delaware last year. I'm sure the fan base and the program in general was not happy how the season ended. In the offseason, it was a shock change at home. It was really a shock. Coach Brock comes in, though. He's a guy who's coached at Rutgers. He's coached at Hofstra, so he's familiar with the CAA. Uh, and I think he's a guy who brings a lot of excitement to this program. It's a big time. It'd be, it'd be, you'd be lying if you weren't saying it's a big time for Delaware. I think they're trying to install some things. It's going to be a little bit different offensively and defensively. As a program in general, though, how are the players going to react? How are some of the guys coming back going to react? And for Delaware, this is only the fifth head coach since 1940, so that says a lot about the program. It's, it's a big year regardless for the Blue Hens. Certainly will be. And, Tim, you re recently got to sit down with a very entertaining guy in Blue Hens defensive lineman Zach Kerr at CA Football Media Day. And let's hear from what the veteran player had to say about his new head coach. I mean, Coach Brock, is, he's, a, he's a really aggressive you know, guy. So everything we do is aggressive, hands-on, attacking. You know, so, and that's kind of the, the energy and the, you know, the, the feel, the the culture he brings to it, so it's like, it's kind of like a... A little bit of a change-up. Yeah, it's a change-up. It's almost like somebody throwing a water balloon in your face, you know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, I, I hear you there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa, you know, like waking up, like, all right, this, this, is, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been waiting on, so it's like, it's, it, I'm really excited about it, and all the players are responding to him great. He's a, he's a, he communicates with us, you know, some of the best communications I've had with any coach, you know, so it's just, I'm, I'm excited. Exciting times. Yeah. One of the greatest analogies right there ever, right there, Tim, with the water balloon. And looks like, according to Zach, it does sound like the team has responded very well to Coach Brock. We should also note that the Blue Hens also return a big weapon in Walter Payton Award watchlist finalist Andrew Pierce, who was banged up, a little banged up last year in addition to nine other returning starters on offense. I think the biggest question for them is which Andrew Pierce is going to show up. Is it going to be the Andrew Pierce last year who was banged up, or is it going to be an Andrew Pierce from his freshman year and his true sophomore year where he really rushed for over 1,000 yards, was a touchdown machine? Uh, he's a senior. He's been, around the, he's been around the block a few times. I think Andrew Pierce is is due for a breakout year. Also, the biggest question, I think, for them, who's going to be the quarterback? Is it going to be Trent Hurley? He's a kid who knocked down a lot last year. Oh, yeah. The Blue Hens, that offensive line, gave up the most sacks in the CAA last year. Hurley threw 10 touchdowns and 14 interceptions. I think that's something that's going to need to change. Offensively, Sean Devine comes in, and John Perry, guys who've been around the CAA, they're going to change that offense a little bit and get him uh, involved. That's Hurley with Pierce. I think the biggest question for the Blue Hens is changing that mindset on offense and moving forward from what happened last year. Well, Coach Brock did talk about his expectations for the UD offense in 2013. Take a listen. Well, I think any time you have experience, it's, it's beneficial, you know, and, and again, uh, you know, making sure that we do a great job uh, putting the ball in the right people's hands. Certainly, Andrew is, is a terrific, terrific player and, and uh, you know, a wonderful young guy. Uh, to have that experience and that production, you know, certainly gives us a great starting point. But we feel like we've got some really talented players, and, and uh, we're going to be very, very aggressive. We're going to try and put together game plans that are they're going to play to our strengths, attack other teams' weaknesses, and, and uh, you know I feel good about it. experienced players usually can do more than than you know incoming uh, new guys and, and less experienced players. So we're counting on that. So as you can see, Tim, with all of these re starters returning for Coach Brock, he isn't necessarily inheriting a team that has to rebuild. As we said earlier, Delaware is a team that has the potential to sneak up on some teams this season and get back into the conference championship picture. What are the keys to the Blue Hens making this potential a reality? I think with the Blue Hens in general, there's always going to be that potential. It's always mm -hmm. going to be there. The fan base is going to be there. They have a great stadium to play in. At a conference scheduling this year, it really sets up nicely for them. The biggest thing, I think, overall in general is how are they going to adjust to Coach Brock? Uh, there's a complacency thing where it's a question of are the players, uh, they don't really have to feel, they have to earn it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. The players mm -hmm. have to feel like they're going to earn it. Uh, maybe with a new regime, players aren't going to be so complacent. Players are going to be fighting for that position. Obviously, the biggest thing that Delaware needs to do is get back to playing Delaware football. I think that's what everyone wants to see, and I think it's great for the league, and I think that's where they're headed uh, what, from what we've seen from Coach Brock so far. Delaware opens its season at home against Jacksonville on Thursday, August the 29th, before playing host to Delaware State in the Route 1 rivalry on September 7th, a game that can be seen nationally on the NBC Sports Network. 
Tim and I will be back tomorrow as we reach the final five teams in our 11 teams in 11 day series. On deck, our head coach Mickey Matthews and his JMU Dukes, who will look to return to the playoffs this fall after missing out in 2012. Tune in tomorrow right here on CAA.TV.